in a world with no color, tucked away in a small nook of a valley sat a small town. The residents in town were content with their colorless world. This was all they knew. That was, except for the purple tree. Today was quite a bit blusterous. The wind rattled the barren branches of the purple tree and the last leaf took flight. As the leaf took the air, it seemed to have a mind of its own, a messenger on a journey. And then the leaf found Pon Pon. Pon Pon was on their way to school when they were distracted by a leaf in their face. Being easily distracted, Pon Pon forgot about school and went to visit the purple tree. Doesn't look very happy all alone, Pon Pon thought to themselves. I don't know why I can't just try one piece. Suddenly, the bell rang. Pon Pon was late again. They said goodbye and hurried to class. The teacher was already in the middle of a lecture, and that's why we need to know our times tables. Excuse me, sorry, oops, sorry. Pon Pon, you're late again. You need to focus on what matters. Now on to science lessons. Pon Pon already wasn't listening. They looked out at the purple tree, barren and alone. When they got home, it was getting late. Hi, honey, I'm going out to the store. I hope you had a good day at school, mom says as she headed out. Dad, has anyone ever tasted the purple fruit? Pon Pon asked. Humph, what? Eaten? Of course not, it's forbidden, don't be silly. Pon Pon went up to their room. They couldn't stop thinking of the purple tree. Pon Pon looked out their window, but couldn't quite make out in the dark. Good night, my friend, I know you are out there. The next day was calm, but the winds brought in dark clouds. Pon Pon was deep in thought, math and science and important school stuff. But again, they were distracted. What could one piece hurt, they thought, as they approached the tree. And then they saw it. One piece of fruit had fallen to the ground. It was amazing. They loved it. It was the best thing they had ever... Oh no, class! They quickly dropped the fruit and rushed to class. Pon Pon could hear the lecture from the teacher. If they could just sneak in... Pon Pon, what is all over you? You are purple! All the other students stared at Pon Pon, covered in purple juice. I want to try! Me too, me too! They all rushed past Pon Pon and out the door. Wait! Pon Pon exclaimed. Don't hurt the tree! Pon Pon rushed outside after them. The students rushed the tree and tore at branches and limbs to get at the fruit. Purple juice and pieces of the tree went flying everywhere. Stop! 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 Pon Pon yelled. But it was too late. The damage was done. Pon Pon stood alone, looking at the broken carnage, and began to cry. But as Pon Pon wept, something strange happened. As if the sky wept with Pon Pon, it started to rain. A little at first, and then more. And with the rain, small purple sprouts started popping up all around Pon Pon. The purple tree wasn't dead. It needed help to spread its seed. Pon Pon's tears turned to laughter as they looked around at all of their new friends, what would now be the Purple Forest.